It is estimated that close to 700 tons of plastics is disposed in Uganda daily, with urban centers accounting for the vast chunk of this waste. In Kampala city alone, 28 tons of garbage is generated monthly and only 500 tons is collected. The uncollected and poorly disposed trash including plastics ends up clogging the sewage systems and this comes with associated effects on the environment. Plastic Recycling Industries Uganda, a subsidiary of Coca-Cola Africa, is however turning this plastic waste into treasure and the results are there for all to see. The plastic waste is gathered from all collection centers spread across the country and later transported to the main recycling center in Kampala. Here, the plastics are weighed, sorted, cleaned and later recycled into export material used in the making of various products. Coca-Cola plans to roll out this initiative across the country and numerous partnerships have been entered. We're, we're going to be exp expanding the partnership to include the Buganda Kingdom, which has a very, very serious Bulunji 1C program, and they already are running the Ndeba Collection Center in partnership with us. KCC also provides uh, the trucks and skips at different points. And we are looking at increasing the number of skips specifically for plastics. One of the things that we want to change in Uganda is for people not to throw plastic garbage together with organic waste. If we learn to separate this garbage, then we will turn this into money much, much quicker. Then we have another partnership with the Masaka Collection Center. The Masaka Collection Center will be bringing in plastics from Masaka and southwestern Uganda. And we are looking at increasing the partnerships countrywide to go to eastern Uganda, northern Uganda, so that we get all the plastic waste in this country brought to this facility and other plants we may open and recycle. The Director of Public Affairs and Communications at Coca-Cola Africa, Simon Kaheru, says this has turned out to be a source of income to many. Kaheru was taking the Executive Director Uganda Exports Promotions Board Eri to Nayo Kamjisha around Coca-Cola's plastic recycling plant in Nakawa. <laughs> Kamjisha promised to work with Coca-Cola in accessing markets and better equipment needed in this trade. So the fact that Coca-Cola is creating jobs for those people using uh, plastic collection and recycling is very, very important for Uganda. But also the other fact is that Coca-Cola is exporting. We are going, getting foreign exchange. As Uganda Export Promotion Board, we support that endeavor and we hope that we can have a discussion, we can have a conversation with the government on the, on the, 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 the need for having uh, this machine into this country because this is important for production and productivity. And if we are going to increase exports, we need to increase production and productivity. Innocent Obong, the plant manager, plastic recycling industry Uganda, says with the extruder in place, they will be able to add value on the recycled product. Uh, we are exploring uh, uh, possibility of improving our investment or our technology to be able to further produce this finished product or this flex into other products. We would, would like to, we are exploring, investing in extruder where we can convert this plastic into lumber from which you can make benches, you can make chairs, you can make beds, and this could, uh, could be part of our corporate social responsibility to, to support some schools, to support some hospitals. So that's where we, we are looking. A new study revealed that a million plastic bottles are bought around the world every minute, and this number is expected to increase by 20% in 2021. And without efforts of proper disposal of plastics and recycling in place, the impact this will have on the environment is grave. Samuel Senono, UBC News.